How's it going, YouTube? I'm not too enthusiastic about making this video because, um, you know, yeah, I'm just not, wasn't really feeling like making this video. I'm, I'm just being personally honest, but then I started thinking of, you know, um, somebody had asked me to make a video about the real Bible. So, uh, the reason why I didn't really feel like making this video is because I felt like, um, part of me was feeling like e either way it go, if you tell people, uh, this and that, you know, they, it's gonna always be something, you feel what I'm saying? So, um, like this Bible, right? This is a King James 1611 edition, right? So, boom. Um, certain words are spelled a certain way because it was like, okay, it's just like the way of speaking, right? So if you say, let's say for example, um, for example, the word son. We all know as we all know son to be S O N, right? So in here, if y'all can see that, probably can't. But what I'm trying to say, son in here is spelled S O N N E. So sometimes I would have to get a dictionary, uh, put it, put the word in, um, you know, Google. Oh, bear with me. Sometimes I would have to put the words in Google to see what they mean. Um, nothing's really wrong with that. Uh, you know, this is a full Bible, though. You know what I'm saying? It has Exodus, um, the books that everybody. Oh, they took out the Bible. You can you can find the Bible that has. But you, it's still you still have to be educated in understanding uh, the modernization of words. So Psalms is spelled P F A L. You feel what I'm saying? P F A L M E S in this Bible. It was not. This was like when English wasn't like in its complete version. You see what I'm saying? So. Jesus is Jesus, but some people would say, some people would take this and say, no, it's, it'll be a Seuss, right? That's how I-E-S-U-S -S will be pronounced, but that's what people would take and say, well, that's Jesus' name. So that's why I really didn't feel like making this video because it's hard to get people to understand that it's just like, how art thou? You know what I'm saying? Versus how are you? We don't talk that way anymore. You feel what I'm saying? So you understand like language is just like life. Um, it's just a modernization of things that used to be. So back then, you can see how, how was they taking pictures in the slave days? So now you got to understand that somebody lied to you. History make it seem like a whole lot of things didn't exist. When we is in 2021 and still can go back to people picking cotton on camera. It was just black and white. So um, with that said, you know, this this video does not have to be 30, 40 minutes long. You know, some things is just, I'm not going to say common sense, but uh, really, because see, that's, that, my whole attitude was on it. Like, I don't want to make this video because, you know, we'll, we'll be here forever. 
You feel what I'm saying? Just explaining. Um, because, you know, you got people that's educated. Um, and I'm saying educated by school. So, you know, when I grew up, I hated school. Um, I can I can remember vividly that when I first started learning in kindergarten, it was like a fire was in my mind, in my imagination, and like when I'm close, I, I had closed my eyes. I, I remember this to this day. When I started learning math and stuff like that, a fire was in my head. So I'm not saying that you supposed to get anything from that. Um, I just, I always hated school. I was always, I got a B in in history, but I was always asking questions. Well, what about this? What about that? To the point the teacher got mad and was, you know, moving desk around and, and, and you know, he was pissed, basically, with the questions that I was asking. So, um, yeah, I never liked the school because... You know, I don't like being lied to. So, uh, that's why I don't like, I don't even like lying. You know, so, um, yeah, this this is the Bible that I read. But if you don't understand the uh, modern nation of language, then, yeah, you're not going to understand things. So, I could give you another example. You know what I'm saying? See, this mug say, I ain't even finna get into that. Uh, Like David, the name David is spelled D-E-U-I-D. So you know you wouldn't be saying do it. You feel me? It's just the, the, the English language was not modern then. You feel me? Cause I could give you simple words that we don't spell the same. Unto, unto, U N T O is V N T O in this Bible. See, you see what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm just picking names. No, the whole thing. Sometimes I be having to go to a regular King James version to see what it's saying. Exactly. Okay, okay. So it you know what I'm saying? It's saying this. Uh like beautiful. We know B E A U T I F U L. Well, and this Bible is written with two L's. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's all. You feel me? Like if you don't understand that, so somebody could read all this and still be saying Jesus' name is Isis. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's just a lack of... The Lord say, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. So, if you don't got no knowledge, then you don't you lack understanding. You see what I'm saying? So, when Olive is spelled O-L-I-U-E. You see what I'm saying? In this Bible. So, that's why I didn't feel like... But it's needed, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the time we ain't everybody act like they ain't got common sense. So, and I'm not saying the person who acts doesn't have common sense. I'm saying how people take understanding and they put they they put away logic. You feel what I'm saying? They take understanding and they put away logic, and then they they make things what they want it to be. You feel what I'm saying? So. I, I don't want to hear no, uh, this the slave Bible, ain't nothing in here, what, what's in here, the, the main goal of Christ, let's, let's start in the New Testament then, you feel what I'm saying, is to get out of sin, repent, you feel me, I done been baptized, I stay repenting even when I'm not in sin, so, um, see the devil wouldn't want me to say nothing about this, but, uh, it's only one goal, you feel me? And that's to get sin out of your life. They say, see, people take the Bible out of context and say, we saved by grace. No, we are, grace, how grace, how is grace manifested then? 
See, that's the question. Question yourself that. What, how is grace manifested? How is grace manifested? Through faith. It's manifested by faith. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. They pick apart your understanding. For one, you need to... If you're going to get you a Bible, get you a King James Bible. Why King James Bible? Because this, this is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm going to tell you. The King James Bible ain't going to shortcut you. It's not going to leave out certain words and woo woo woo. Got this off Amazon. But you need to understand before you pick this up, don't be walking around talking about ISIS and all that. Because you see, that's how Jesus is spelled. Because that's just stupid. Don't start doing stupid stuff. God been the same forever. See, that's what y'all don't. Un that's what people don't understand. And I see. I try not to get fired up. You hear? Me? I try to be cool. Try to be cool about it. But when you start doing stupid things, cause I seen, I literally seen somebody on Instagram. You feel what I'm saying? Comment on somebody post talking about this is God's real name. And that is coming from a lack of knowledge. Because if you put I-E-S-U-S, -S, put the pronunciation and go. It's not going to be Aesis. It's going to be Asus. You see what I'm saying? So it's deriving from a less modern language, writing, text. If we talking about 1611, you don't go up to your brother like, how art thou? He going to be looking at you like, bro, <laughs> bro, stop playing with me, fool. You feel me? So, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, this video was needed as I, you know, come down to it. I just didn't, I'm saying me personally, I didn't feel like making this video. But, you know, I, I, I want to make it short and sweet. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be a 80 minute video on the history because that's a whole history lesson. But you got to wipe away the history that you understand. Everybody that was in the history books was Masons or some type of, you know, when, when it comes to Egyptians, Egyptians was all rooted in idolatry. We not we not finna get into that. See, that's a whole nother story. When Nimrod was like he he worshiped the fire or whatever the case may be and dude telling him like what about the water that could put out the fire and then you feel what I'm saying? Oh saying that God is the only thing that cannot be destroyed. You feel what I'm saying? So you 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 sound stupid. I'ma worship the fire. When I could just throw water on it. Well why not worship the fire? I mean water. Then you will have to worship the clouds. And why why not worship the cloud when you feel me? Like we not we not finna go there. We not let's stop acting like we don't got no sense. You feel what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, yes, I've made mistakes, but I repent and I turn away from that. See what I'm saying? So um yeah. Everybody make mistakes, but when when that day come. When God call you to his altar, you feel me? Don't be surprised when he be bringing up your stupidity. You feel what I'm saying? Because the only reason why some some of us lack understanding is because somebody didn't gave us, we didn't believe in something else somebody gave us. And see, that's totally the opposite you could ask, if you could ask, you would be able to ask my parent, my mom, my daddy, my brothers, everything. I never was the type to settle for the wrong way of doing things. I used to run away from home because I was tired of the cycles. I was tired of the pattern. I was tired of constantly being in trouble over and over again. That I just needed a break and an escape to find peace within self. So I don't like being wrong. So I find out 
how to be right. I don't lean on to my own understanding. King James Bible been around me my whole life. I had uh, cousins that lived to be over 90 years old. On, on her side, she had a King James Bible. My great-grandma, she lived over 90 years old. On her side, she had a King James Bible. My grandma Sandy just died a couple of years back, like about seven years back. You feel me? Had the King, she slept with the King James Bible. Sometimes it'll be open. <laughs> it'll be open on her chest. You feel me? Slave Bible where? No, this is going to get you out of slavery. Modern day slavery. See, everything modernizes. See, back then slavery was put a chain on your neck, beat you, whoop de woo, rape the kid, woo woo. Slavery to date is sin. Y'all gonna say, Carl, where you get that from? I, I don't know exactly the exact scripture. You got that one? Uh -huh. We all be saying, you you listen to somebody be stupid and be like, well, slavery, slavery exists today. This is it. Who you know, who you know right now, other than some sex trafficking and all that and all that, getting beaten, hung. Yeah, there's some people that get, end up on the tree. But I'm going to show you what it is. Like, who is not really prominent that people is doing that? Like, you don't go outside and every five houses you see a, a black person hanging. Romans 6, 15 through 23. 6, 15. Okay. Okay. Now listen to this. This 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 is I'm finna just conclude it <laughs> with this. <laughs> now listen. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you, will deliver you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Okay, I'm, a, I'm not going to tarry on too long. Because that ain't exactly what I wanted. Now here you go. Romans 6. Verse 6. Was that the same thing? No. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm getting mixed up, y'all. Y'all bear with me. But basically, you know... Uh, the Bible speak about 
you know, like uh, John 8, 34. It say, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. So, it says, before that, it say, they answer him, we be Abraham's seed and, and we're never in bondage to any man. It has a colon. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? You see this? Just listen. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. So, again, see, that, and that's also showing how a person in sin, God's word has no place in them. You feel what I'm saying? So, everything explained in itself. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we can go on. It's, it's, you know, it's so many verses that could piggyback off so many verses. But we not. See, that's why I say I'm going to make this short and sweet. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody wanted to be about something that is not. That's why you can't understand. See, we wanted to be about color. We wanted to be. No. What, what would it matter if you're in sin? What color does it matter, the color of your skin, if you in sin? See, we, we starting to drag it out. And see, because that's that's what y'all want to hear. Y'all want to hear is black Jesus, white Jesus, this and that. No. What does it matter to color your skin if you ain't seeing? So now you got to act stupid and say, well, 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 what, what if I don't believe in sin? Well, then that's, that's just your own stupidity. That's your pride blocking your blessing. Because guess what? A lot of us do things that we know we ain't got to do. Masturbation, cussing, uh, lusting. We know we don't have to do those things. But we leave ourselves with no choice because of our faith. See, the thing that stops me from masturbating, watching porn, and lusting at the females is focusing on my faith. Focusing on what I believe in. So, because God is greater than those things. He wants you to look at those things. And if you if you spot somebody going about, oh, I want to show my butt and this and that, you look at that. You look at that with shame. Because guess what? At the end of the day, they going to answer for that. If they don't repent. See, I'm going to put the key in them. They don't repent and turn away from that. When it comes to repenting, why would you, why, you, you say, why, why stop sinning? If I repent. Because it's like stepping on somebody's foot. Or poking somebody in the eye. And you say, my bad, bro. Does that mean to keep doing it? That mean, do that mean you're going to keep, when you apologize for something you've done wrong to someone, do you keep doing it? Do you try to keep doing it? And then do you keep doing it in the same as, oh, I apologized to you yesterday. See, that's, that's how common sense hit me. But common sense ain't that common. No, I'm not finna talk about topics uh, of, Oh, this person got the devil shoe out. No, I'm not finna talk about that. That, I, that ain't even worth my time. You gotta understand at the end of the day, what do these celebrities promote? If they promote sin, you don't have to. You don't have to even keep second guessing. Is they with God? Is they with the Lord? If they promote sin, how does that make sense? The Lord does not abide in them. The Holy Spirit does not abide in them because 
The Holy Spirit is going to stop you from doing that within you. So again, like I said, here's another video. Um, you know, see y'all make people viral that leave y'all with an open end, a split end. You feel me? Just leave you the one. I'm giving it to you straight up, bro. I don't need a million followers, a million views to give you the truth, bro. Some some of this stuff is common sense, man. You got to watch a million Illuminati exposed videos when they promote sin. That should be all the understanding that you need. So, this is another video, y'all. I done fell down the stairs. <laughs> I was cracking up. It hurt it. I had like a little mark right here. But that's really, I've been just really taking a break, bro. It was a little bruise right here, if you could see. But yeah, man, your boy fell down the stairs, bro. I was too ready. <laughs> you hear me? Thank the Lord I ain't hurt myself, man. But yeah, man. Uh, other than that, man, I really been just, really just been drawing, man. You know, this example of, you know, I did that a minute ago, though. But yeah, that's 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 my most proud work. My most proud work right there. You feel me? Me and me and my son. But yeah, man, we just really been trying to get everything situated. Uh yeah. Trying to stay busy, trying to stay focused at the same time. So yeah, man. I I read this sometimes. I don't read it as much as I should because I be like on the little phone Bible. Stuff like that. So you know, even though we get a verse of the day, sometimes I might read the whole page. But yeah, man, this this the Bible that I'm going to keep, try to keep with me when it's all said and done. You did. So thank the Lord Jesus for y'all even wanting to hear me say something. So, but I ain't, I ain't blocking my blessings. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, so. You know, that's that. And if anybody need any more information, you know, just, you know. Because the way information was on YouTube, you know, I used to be able to find out things and this and that. But it's like, it's so oversaturated with BS now that it's hard to find a channel that's, you know. I, I actually seen a video on the history of the Bible. So, um... You know, you, you get that from the History Channel. There's going to be some whole other information. You feel what I'm saying? They they all know. Let me tell y'all this, folks. They all know who God is. To get in the position that they got in, they had to deny Christ. Put that into perspective. You feel me? Some people left that type of lifestyle. I done seen stories. People done left satanic cults, all that. You feel what I'm saying? Cause, cause, cause your common sense has to dawn on you. Yeah, you can, you can, you can want money all day long, but why compromise your soul for a piece of paper? Just, just, just think about that, man. So, like I said, I've seen people stories of people leaving that that type of lifestyle. And these people. Got them in feel like, I will kill you and all this and all this. Well, I'd rather die than to die in the fire. Okay? So, you know, pray, keep faith, fall in the sin, repent, turn away. You can do it. In Jesus' my name, I pray. Amen.